I will start with how amazing the season was because, wow, I cannot find words actually how amazing the season was. I mean, we, we came here in end of November to set it up with a great team of people completely dedicated to make this happen and, and, and build this center here. And I mean, maybe you can see in two days, or we'll pack down today, but in two days you can see how it will look after we pack everything together. It's a complete different space. And everything that was created here was from everyone together. And that's so touching and, and amazing as we as human beings can come together in this most empowering way to create this amazing space, make a whole kitchen running here, have everything completely in place and, and so efficiently and effectively and have this open heartedness in all relation in, in, in how we work as in teams and how we relate with each other. And it's so natural to us. And that's what we are getting familiar here when we, we come to, to Balance 2. We're getting familiar with our open-hearted and empowering, na empowering nature, the nature that is innate to us. That's how we are meant to be living, completely, completely empowered in every moment of our life, not disempowered, not completely shut off from our open-heartedness and kindness that is so natural to us in all related, in all relating with each other. So what we come here and, and what we offer here is a complete um, complete support structure to, let, uh, to make that come about within us, that empowering nature that is always knowing always what to do and how to do it to be of most benefit to ourselves and others. It is completely innate to us and we, we get familiar with that, we are introduced here to that. So we offer a complete variety of trainings for like the last three months. We had empowering trainings that, that educate us in the nature of our mind. So what is the nature of our mind? The nature of our mind is this vast open intelligence that is the ground of all, of all everything that we can perceive, opening intelligence. So I always thought that my mind is in this, this thing between my eyes and really located just in my head. But now I was introduced to that about myself that is completely vast, that is, uh, encompasses all, all um, appearances, so everything that we can perceive, and we call that very simply data in the balanced view training. So everything that we can perceive, all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, everything that we, we do, everything that we see, everything basically is data arising as this opening intelligence, at that vastness. So the ground of all data streams is opening intelligence. And the simple um, instruction in the Balanced View Training is to take short moments of opening intelligence repeated many times, whenever we are naturally remembered to do so. So what we do, we go about in our daily life and data streams come up. So we completely rest body and mind for split seconds. We stop thinking for a split second and see what is left there. What remains when we stop thinking for a moment? And we can all do that right here, right now, just for a split second. We see that there's a ground of knowing, something that, that alertness, something that pervades everything remains. And then we see, well, next thought comes in and we see that that ground of knowing, the ground of being, is always present. So also in the thought. So inseparable from all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, there's this um, open in intelligence pervading everything. And we, with the short moments, we recognize that again and again, that opening intelligence is always present, always stable in all experiences of our life in all sensations, in all thoughts. In fact, we wouldn't even know anything without that open intelligence. We wouldn't know about our thoughts, we wouldn't know about our emotions, we wouldn't know anything without that ground of knowing. And that ground of knowing is inseparable from all data streams, like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. We cannot separate them out. 
the same with all our data streams, are inseparable from open intelligence. And that intelligence is always stable, always present, always naturally beneficial. So in, in taking short moments repeated many times, whenever we naturally remember to do so, we tap into that, that intelligence about ourselves that just knows exactly what to do and how to act in any situation that it will be of most benefit to ourselves and others. It's so natural to us and we are just getting familiar more and more again with that ground of knowing. Something that just got unnoticed because we were so focused and at least I was so focused on my data streams, all my thoughts and emotions, why I felt this kind of emotion. For example, sadness, why I felt sad. Then I had a whole idea and analyzing structure coming up, why I feel sad because this happened and that happened and I was totally lost in my, my stories around all everything that I could basically, that I thought and felt and sensed. And when I came to this training I realized, wow, all this analyzing and indulging in all my data streams, it's not necessary. It will not bring me that relief that I'm looking for. Because basically I was looking for relief from my data streams. The data stream of sadness, for example. I wanted relief, I wanted it to go away. I didn't want to feel it. So I, I thought I need to analyze and I need to do everything to keep it away. And now I was introduced to another way that is so powerful and so empowering just to allow everything completely be as it is. So when sadness comes up, completely allow it to be there. Completely feel it deeply. We don't need to do anything with that sadness in order to have complete well-being. Now that was completely something I, I, I never thought was possible, that I could feel completely fine within myself, within that sadness. There's an underlying ease within every emotion that we feel, and every thought that we feel. So suddenly we don't need to get rid of any of our thoughts, emotions, sensations, everything perfect as they are, because we are not looking um, to get relief in trying to get rid of them. We are not looking for our relief in there now. We see that our relief is in every moment, in each moment we take to recognize open intelligence, seeing that we are all perfectly okay in every moment, that our life satisfaction and well-being is always ensured in every single moment of our life, no matter what, what, what life presents itself to us. We can face everything completely, everything, everyone. And, and that's why we also have that support structure to really bring that about and, and really allow that to flourish in all our, in our, all our areas of life, even in, in situations where it might be more difficult to recognize that we are okay in every moment. It takes some time to get used to that also and, and to recognize that. So we have that complete um, support structure, the four mainstays. The first mainstays are, are these short moments that I was just describing. So we can do that wherever we are, just naturally. We can take short moments wherever we are with whatever um, thing we are doing with any activity, basically. Sleeping, walking, talking, we always can take short moments. Then we have the trainings, all the trainings that we offer that just elicits this recognition more and more. All the media that you can um, download also from the um, from the internet and we also have a media table there that somebody can put it on your um, iPad or iPods. So complete availability of, of talks to that just confirm our recognition again and again. And then we have the trainers that completely can normalize all our data streams because basically what a trainer does is, is share their own direct experience in how to, f how, how to face all data streams that, I, that we all have faced seeing that it's possible for a human being to really have complete stability in every moment and seeing that stability within ourselves because somebody else sees that within ourselves. So a trainer is so empowering in that way. And then the community coming together, working on projects, setting up a center like this together and everybody taking complete, um, complete responsibility for their data streams. Um, complete devotion and a dedication to empower everyone around us just together and together we can make so much happen in the world and we can see that here. 
that was a, a small example here in Goa with so much effect because we see how powerful we all are as human beings, how powerful we can contribute to the world, what we can make happen and for the world to make that change, that it really comes back to each one of us. Each one of us needs to make that, that choice within the um, life and how they want to use their mind. How do we want to use our mind? Do we want to go off with all our stories and our data streams, putting our energy into that? Or resting deeply and using that energy for the benefit of all, seeing what, how can we use our energy and contribute it to the world with our strengths, gifts and talents. Everyone has so amazing strengths, gifts and talents. I'm always so touched when I come here, see so many people from all over the world, all ages, so many talents and strengths and, and just naturally unfolding more and more. Every year I see it more and more unfolding within myself and everyone. And everybody wants to just naturally contribute. Finally we have a platform to contribute our strengths, gifts and talents for the benefit of all. I mean that's incredible that we are all supported in that. More and more we see that just shining forth within ourselves. And it, it's, it's so amazing to see also when we, when we start also relying on open intelligence and we have all the concepts about what is open intelligence or what is benefit and, and what is a short moment and I had, I mean, I had so many ideas. I always thought I, I, I rely on open intelligence only when I have positive thoughts, when I feel like fully spaced out or fully like flying and everything is rosy and everything. Then I thought, ah, now I got it, finally. Ah. And then sometimes the next day, sometimes even two hours later, I felt completely the opposite. Completely disconnected, completely all data streams stirring. And I thought, oh, oh my God, I lost it. And, and, and where did it go? And, and, and I, I was totally like, oh, I do, did things wrong. And then I saw, okay, that is just an, another data stream arising. I can take short moments right there. We will see everything. You know, open intelligence is inclusive of everything. The data stream of feeling completely connected and unified with the world, or the data stream of feeling completely disconnected and, 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 and whatever. So everything arises as open intelligence, and we see the ground of every data stream is open intelligence. So uh, op um, opening intelligence is shining forth through every data stream. And we will need to face everything. So don't put it in a box. If, when, if we want to put it in a box, we limit ourselves. Then we always try to reach it again. And then we think we, we've lost it when we, are, when we feel something different. We just experience everything completely. Open intelligence. And you can test it. Is open intelligence still there? Even if it doesn't feel like, like I thought it would feel. It doesn't feel a certain way. It will, it will feel everything. Everything that you feel is a sign of open intelligence everything, really everything. So everything we thought is not open intelligence as well, same. Open intelligence equal and even in every data stream. And it's important to see all this, and it's great to see because we're blowing open all our concepts of what opening intelligence is. So that's really perfect to see. Blowing open all ideas about benefits. It's so powerful because if we limit ourselves in, into something, then, then we, just, we, we just see so li just a limited per uh, perspective. But if we open up, then we can also be completely responsive in the situation to what will be of benefit in that circumstance. If we have a concept of what is benefit, then we cannot be completely spontaneous and see clearly what is needed in every, every circumstance, what will be of most benefit. So we remain completely open with no concept whatsoever to collapse into. Even if concepts are stirring around, we're just not picking anyone to put our energy. We're just not limiting ourselves, remaining open. We don't need to get rid of our concepts or ideas. That's a big relief. We can just let them flow on by, not needing to give them any meaning to or allowing them to view our world from that perspective. We remain open completely in the face of every concept, every idea. And then we can freely see, and then we can clearly see in each circumstance what will be of most benefit. Each circumstance will be different. Each, each situation will be different. So our power is to really know in every moment what serves and what will be of most benefit there. 
And that we see more, most clearly when we remain open in the face of every data stream.